Good morning everyone. Today I am going to discuss on the topic Biological Anthropology in SNSCOP as part of online induction training program conducting by Teaching Learning Center Ramanujam College, University of Delhi in collaboration with Central University of Tamil Nadu, Uttarakhand University of Horticulture and Forestry and Dote Bankip Science College, Gondia, Maharashtra. I am Dr. Ratnathai, Assistant Professor, Department of Anthropology, Deiranathan Government College, Itanagar, Arunachal Pradesh. The topic of today's discussion lesson is a Biological Anthropology, Aims and Scope. What are the goals and objectives of this lesson? The goal is to understand Biological Anthropology. And the objective is to facilitate the student to understand basic of biological anthropology. The topic covered in the lecture includes what is biological anthropology and aims and scopes of biological anthropology. To begin with, what is biological anthropology? Biological anthropology, also called a physical anthropology earlier is a scientific study of biological aspects of human being, their extinct hominid ancestors and related non-human primates, particularly from an evolutionary perspective. Now, aims of physical anthropology is to increase our understanding of human biological variation and evolution. The questions that physical anthropologists or biological anthropologists look to answer is who are we as a species? What does it mean to be human? Where did we come from? How do we fit in with other living things? Now let's talk about the scope of biological anthropology. Traditionally, biological anthropology meant race and anthropometry. But today, with the passage of time, many specialization have arisen due to past work done in the quest to know about ourselves. This is a continuous process and new areas are still evolving, depending upon the natures of field study. Now, some of the popular areas and scope of biological anthropology includes paleoanthropology. It is the study of fossil remains of human ancestors and associated cultural remains. Then, we have human genetics. It's a science of hereditary. It explains the cause of human variation. It also provides information to understand the digits and their effective management. Then we have prime meteorology. It's a branch of biological anthropology that studies the hominids that includes all f like ancestors of man and all the living great apes. Then we have human growth and development. Specializations of biological anthropology that concern with the study of the process, fat on growth, and the effect of nutrition, environment, and genetic factors influencing our human growth. Then we have human osteology, which is uh, the science of human bones. Then we have uh, human ecology that studies human adaptations, physiologic development and genetic to environment, stress and pressure. 
Then we have nutritional anthropology that is studies food and nutrition and how this interact in the production of nutritional health at the individual community and population level. Then we have medical anthropology. As the name suggests, it studies disease pattern and their impact on human societies. Then we have molecular anthropology, a comparatively newer branches of biological anthropology uh, that deals with the study of molecular analysis such as DNA, gen, proteins, molecules to find out the evolutionary link between ancient and modern human population as well as between contemporary human species. Then we have forensic anthropology. Uh, it is the application of the science of biological anthropology in a legal scenario. When in a criminal case, victims remains are unidentifiable, forensic anthropology helps in identifications of the individuals. Then we have uh, physiological anthropology that seek to understand how our human organ systems, our cells and our tissues uh, protect and function. Then we have uh, dental anthropology, the study the development, eruption, number, size, morphology, modifications, wear and pathology of teeth, among other various topics. Then we have anthropometry, the science of measurement. Anthropometry plays an extensive role in industrial design, clothing design, defense equipment, ergonomics, and architecture. Then we have demography. Uh, it is the scientific study of human population, growth rate, density, vital statistics, and distributions of human population. And last but not the least, we have kinantopometry, uh, also called as sport anthropology. It's a comparatively new science, a concern with the measurement of body and other parts of human body so as to achieve higher level of performance in a specific sport. Thank you for your kind attention.